Okay. Now I'll take this off and bring over my three foot tall figure. Or my three foot tall true form figure. I'll set this off to one side where I can look at it and uh, and observe. Because of the size of this piece, I've decided to stay in my studio and work on this here this winter. Now, because I'm going to uh, have this raised up a bit, only because I want to put a, a base, a wooden, uh, not a wooden base, but a, a uh, base at the they will stand on, and uh, so that's not going to go anywhere. The thing I need to tighten up is this pipe right here, which means I need to take him off for a second because I don't want him swinging around while I'm tightening it up, and so I'm going to take this pipe out of here by loosening that. further away from the front of the base anyway. Let me set this aside so I'm not harming it. There we go. thing you want is to have your uh, figure flopping back and forth so you need to have this tightened down really good. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to establish the base. have to do that first because it's going to be hard to do that once the figure's on the uh, base and uh, so for this I'm going to use a magic marker some uh, bailing wire and a three inch screw it would be a lot easier to uh, screw down in here now and now that I've got the screw there I want to take a piece of wire and the reason I'm using wire instead of string is because string has a tendency to stretch and the last thing I want this to do is stretch I want it to be a, a line or a circle that doesn't get oblong on one side because the string stretched all right get that out of the way then out of the way, and I'm going to wrap this around my screw, just like that. So I've got it moving around like that, and I want this wrapped around my magic marker as well. all this stuff off here now. I just start growing. Perfect. Alright, I've established uh, my pose, got him centered and everything using a, a model over here. I'm going to cut down the, the size of his hip because this is a 
also made for women, so you want to cut down a little bit. And I'm going to just draw a line where I'm going to cut with my Dremel. All right, there uh, we go with the uh, figure. I've got everything locked down. The uh, what the uh, circle knot. Uh, the uh, what do they call it? Uh, ring nut tightened down real tight around the armature. Um, I've got this all tightened down. I've got him centered above uh, where the base is going. I've got both feet at the same level. Uh, the hips are dropped, not drastically, but enough to uh, make a difference. Might just, yeah, there we go. Twist his body just a little bit more. Now, no, I don't think I will. I think I will bring his upper torso up just a little bit. And you can actually raise up the uh, torso to uh, fit any kind of a proportion that you're doing. I broke this. Now, I glued the arm together, but it's not hold, it didn't hold, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple pieces of wire around this and uh, that'll hold it in place while I work. It happens even to the best of us, even when we're doing what we're supposed to do. And if it breaks, you just uh, contact True Form Armatures and tell them it broke and get a replacement. It's that simple. Not the whole figure, you get just the uh, part you need. And just make sure you tell them that, uh, like in this instance, it was the uh, forearm on the uh, right hand side. And they will send you another part for a small nominal fee. I'm going to just take this joint together to hold it while it dries and I'm not going to put it up on the uh, sculpture I'll just leave it on the base for now but that's going to be the uh, figure for now we can all start uh, putting some clay on it I think it's going to be a nice looking bronze oh wait a minute I've got two things I do want to do I want to anchor this foot. Well, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend that down and then drop it into a hole so that uh, I anchor these feet in place. Good. Should be fine. Mr. Valentine. There we go. Get the, all my tools. Make sure you put your tools away. You don't want to be losing your uh, real bits.